Shellfish Allergies, Symptoms and Treatments What are shellfish allergies? Although most major food allergies start in childhood, one particular condition stands out, shellfish. This is a type of allergic reaction that can develop during a person's life. It can be triggered by certain foods that have been previously eaten. Aside from fish, shellfish allergies are also known to be the most common type of food allergic reaction that adults experience. According to a study conducted by the Food Allergy Research and Education Foundation, over 6.5 million adults in the U.S. have allergic reactions to various food types. What food should I avoid if I have a shellfish allergy? There are two types of shellfish, mollusks and crustaceans. Here are a few examples of crustaceans to watch out for if you're allergic. Shrimp Crab Prawn Crayfish Lobster Mollusks include Clams Mussels Oysters Squid Cuttlefish Octopus Snails Scallops Although some people can eat certain types of shellfish, others with a shellfish allergy might not be able to eat the same kind. This is why it's important that all individuals with this condition avoid eating all types of shellfish. A shellfish allergy is different from other allergies in other ways, as well. For example, allergic reactions to shellfish are unpredictable, sometimes occurring long after a person has consumed the allergen and has shown no other symptoms. Allergic reactions to shellfish also often become more severe with each exposure. What are the symptoms of shellfish allergies? The allergic reaction to shellfish is triggered by the body's response to a protein found in the muscles of the shellfish. This protein can trigger the release of chemicals by the immune system. Some people with this condition might experience life-threatening symptoms. It can take some time for symptoms to present after eating shellfish, but most develop within minutes. Symptoms of a shellfish allergy may include Tingling in the mouth Abdominal pain, nausea, diarrhea, or vomiting Congestion, trouble breathing, or wheezing Skin reactions including itching, hives, or eczema Swelling of the face, lips, tongue, throat, ears, fingers, or hands Lightheadedness, dizziness, or fainting Anaphylaxis is a life-threatening allergic reaction that can cause severe and potentially fatal symptoms. Those who suffer from this condition need immediate medical attention. Symptoms of anaphylaxis include A swollen throat, or lump in the throat, that makes breathing difficult. Rapid pulse Extreme dizziness or loss of consciousness A severe drop in blood pressure, shock How are shellfish allergies treated? Although there is no cure for shellfish allergies, the best treatment is to avoid certain types of crustaceans, such as shrimp, lobster, and crab. If the condition is severe, avoiding seafood altogether is also advised. People with shellfish allergies are also advised to carry an epinephrine autoinjector in case they accidentally eat any of the shellfish. This is the first line of treatment for anaphylaxis. A combination of antihistamines, such as Benadryl, can also help treat mild allergic reactions. Although it's rare for people with shellfish allergies to die due to an anaphylactic reaction, it's still important to have an epinephrine pen in case of an emergency. Most doctors agree that people with asthma and a shellfish allergy should carry an epinephrine pen in case of an emergency. If the symptoms do not improve after taking antihistamines, then they should seek immediate medical attention. Can iodine trigger a shellfish allergy? Iodine is a vital component of the human body, as it's necessary for the production of various nutrients, such as thyroid hormones and amino acids. In recent years, there has been a lot of confusion regarding the connection between shellfish allergy and iodine. Many people falsely believe that iodine may trigger an allergic reaction in people with a shellfish allergy. Iodine is often used in medications and contrast agents used in medical imaging. The misinformation about the connection between iodine and shellfish allergies emerged in a court case in Florida. A man with a known shellfish allergy died after experiencing a severe allergic reaction following a medical procedure. His family was awarded a settlement of almost $5 million because they believed that the use of contrast iodine during the course of his treatment caused his death. A study conducted by an emergency medicine journal stated that the use of contrast iodine does not increase the risk of allergic reactions in people with shellfish allergies. How is a shellfish allergy diagnosed? A simple skin prick test can identify a shellfish allergy. The test involves puncturing the skin of the forearm and introducing a small amount of the allergen into it. 
If you're allergic, a small itchy red spot will appear within a few minutes as the mast cells release histamine. A blood test can also be used to diagnose a person with a shellfish allergy. This test, which is called an IgA antibody test, measures the response of the body's immune system to a shellfish. Allergy testing is the only sure way to tell if a reaction after eating shellfish is indeed a shellfish allergy. How can a shellfish allergy be prevented? The only way to prevent a shellfish allergy is to avoid all shellfish and all products that contain shellfish. Here are some tips for avoiding shellfish. Ask the restaurant staff how the food is prepared. Asian restaurants often serve dishes that contain fish sauce as a flavoring base. Make sure to ask that the oil, pan, or utensils used to cook shellfish aren't also used to prepare other foods. Also, a shellfish-based broth or sauce may trigger an allergic reaction. People with a shellfish allergy should avoid eating at seafood restaurants or going to a fish market. They might also experience a reaction even if they're not exposed to vapor or inhale steam from the cooking shellfish. Read food labels carefully. Companies are required to disclose whether their food product contains shellfish. However, they aren't required to disclose if the product contains mollusks, like scallops and oysters. Be cautious of foods that contain vague ingredients, like fish stock or seafood flavoring. Shellfish also may be present in many other dishes and substances, such as Surimi Glucosamine Bouillabaisse Worcestershire sauce Caesar salads When flying, contact the airline in advance to find out whether any fish or shellfish dishes will be prepared and served on the flight. Tell your employer or your daycare about any allergies. Remind a host or hostess of your allergy when you reply to an invitation to a dinner party. You should also carry an epinephrine pen and keep it in your bag. Also, make sure that the information about your allergy is stored in a medical device, such as a necklace or a medical bracelet.